So I'm sure that most of you are familiar with the game of chess. And here's the situation that I'd like to discuss. Suppose that we have some situation on board. We have black pieces somewhere. We have white pieces somewhere. And suppose that we are in a situation where whites can checkmate checkmate blacks in two moves. All right, so what I want to do is to write this condition, this situation in terms of uh, logic, uh, in terms of the language of logic. So what does this situation mean? It means that there exists white move one, in other words, there exists, there exists such a move of whites, such that for any black move after that, which I call black move one, there will be another white move so that checkmate. Okay, so far, this is not very interesting. But here is what I want to do. Let us negate the statement. In other words, let us write a condition for when whites can't checkmate blacks in two moves, no matter what they do. As I'm sure most of you know, uh, when we negate there exists, it changes to for all and vice versa. This is some abuse of notation. But anyway, if we rewrite this statement in a negated form, we get for all white move one, there will be black move after that, such that no matter what whites do the next stage, the blacks will always be able to avoid their king being blocked. So here is our sentence and take a second to ponder about it. So here I have our sentence restated. And if you're a mathematician doing calculus, this should remind you of a very, very common definition, namely that of a convergence of some sequence. Because in that definition, we write that for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists some index in the natural numbers such that for all indices after that, our terms in a sequence do not get further than epsilon away from some limit a. And here is what's peculiar. The sequence of logic operators is the same. In other words, if you cannot checkmate someone in two moves, it is the same as when some sequence converges to a limit. And I think that it's quite interesting. So what is the analogy? In the first case, we have that blacks can always run away. And in the second case, we have that the sequence can always 
run away from epsilon. This should be treated in inverted commas because it's not literal. But I really like this analogy and I think it should serve as a good intuition behind why convergence is defined the way it is.